still in Rutland. Checking out the city, roaming around the streets by chance. People are obviously not used to having someone filming themselves here, so interesting to watch. I like the different cars they have here. Really, a lot of cool cars we don't have in Norway. I'm still here in Rockland, Vermont, right now at the Speakeasy, Speakeasy Cafe, having a break. I had a walk through town here and uh, just to check things out. You know, it's pretty cold today, so the reason that I can travel around and do whatever I do, uh, you know, do my work, do my my online work, do my coaching, um, is because I, I made a choice many years ago. I left the job that I had. My last job was at a local hotel in town. And uh, you know, um, you know, in the end, I just hated that job, so that's why I chose my own stuff. And with my own stuff, I'm talking about uh, web design clients. That's what I had. I had web design clients at the same time. I had my hotel job, and I just decided to quit the job, uh, jump out, and just try to swim. And uh, my business had expanded, and. Um, Combined with my years of martial arts and my mindset training, um, I do coaching with people who really don't want to stick with the norms, stick with the old, stick with their shitty job, or just want to have more freedom and earn, you know, uh, another stream of income or even several streams of income and learn how to make passive income. to tell people that think that believes um, you know that keeping a job and having an employee job is a secure thing is that you have nothing to come up with you know nothing is up to you if you lose your job you, you, you basically lose that one stream of income I just wanted to talk about this for a moment because I just wanted to briefly touch on this uh, topic it's not really a long video that I'm creating today um, I'm just right now I just wanted to have a break and I just wanted to add in to the last video um, where I you know, showed you guys uh, the way I do my coaching and uh, if you didn't see the last video about this uh, girl that I've been working with for a few months now to see her reaction when I finally bring her a solution that day on the call live on the call I recorded a video with her too she started to cry because she's been struggling for so many years and finally she starts to see results with the work that I've been doing for her and she, uh, she, she, she has freedom now, she has more choices because she's finally making an income. So um, I'm just saying that you have the same choice, um, you can go online, you can educate yourself and you can create some kind of small few little business for yourself so you can earn your own income instead of being employed. So that's how it works. Sometimes I think that we're actually spending too many hours in one coffee shop. Are we getting famous now or are we getting, you know, looked at, you know, in a weird way? I don't think in a weird way, but we're definitely spending too many hours in the Yellow Deli. So, you know, sometimes it's just, um, I never give up. When I sit down at a coffee shop and do my work, I can spend an insane amount of hours and uh, now that I've been in Rutland the last two, three weeks, I found this amazing place to sit down and do my work. And uh, me and Marbella, one day, I think we spent eight hours, constantly. And uh, today, again, I started to really get you know, tired and pissed off by stuff just not working out for me. So I had to take a break. That's why I'm hanging out here. You know, just hanging out on the train tracks. Totally 
be a good place to be mindful about my situation. So people are looking at me and uh, wondering why I'm sitting on the train tracks and doing my filming. Hey. hey. You know, spending countless hours on a coffee shop one day can be challenging and exhausting, you know? It's a rough life, being a freelancer and having your own business. Especially when my tools and my systems are not working. It pisses me off. But, to smooth out the day and my, you know, my disturbed emotions, my sweetheart, she bought me pizza. Where did we go? What was the name? Ramundos. Ramundos, something like that. They make really good pizza. Thank you.